Welcome to the Drug and Progressive, Bernie Sanders. I, he's a complex character. I got some thoughts on him, but he's mostly good. Um, here is him not letting a, a reporter spin a narrative. And old Bernie's like, old BS is calling the BS. And I love it. But then he spreads a little manure. But I don't know if he is spreading it on purpose or if he just doesn't know. I'll tell you what I mean in a minute. And the and the agenda there, Senator Joe Manchin, of course, abruptly pulled the plug this week on the Democrats. No, Martha, plans he didn't to abruptly. Pass. Martha, oh, oh, okay, Martha, let, 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 okay. Let he abruptly on let, Friday. He didn't did abruptly that. do anything. He was he negotiating for a the while. the president's agenda. No. Uh, look, if you check the record six months ago, I made it clear that you have people like Manchin, Cinema, Cinema to a lesser degree, who are intentionally sabotaging the president's agenda, what the American people want, what a majority of us in the Democratic caucus want. Nothing new about this. And the problem was that we continue to talk to Manchin like he was serious. He was not. This is a guy who is a major recipient of fossil fuel money, a guy who has received campaign contributions from 25 Republican billionaires. Okay, 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 what about the price of insulin that your fucking daughter rose the price of? For their daily lives is a hardship to them. Now do insulin. The reaction to that, Senator. Well, look, the same nonsense the mansion has been talking about for a year. West Virginia has a beautiful state, and I've had the pleasure of being there. Great people. It is one of the poorest states in this country. You ask the people of West Virginia whether they want to expand Medicare to cover dental, hearing, and eyeglasses. You ask the people of West Virginia whether we should demand that the wealthiest people and large corporations start paying their fair share of taxes. Ask the people of West Virginia whether or not all people should have health care as a human right like in every other country on earth. That's what they will say. In my humble opinion, you know, Manchin represents the very wealthiest people in this country, not working families in West Virginia or America. And, and, and Senator Sanders, I, I want to end with, if these provisions don't get passed, doesn't look like they will, what does that mean for Democrats' climate goals and the climate itself? Martha, it ain't Democrats. It isn't the president. It is the future of the planet. So, Okay, like Bernie's absolutely spot on about Joe Manchin. But he's wrong about Joe Biden doesn't care about that shit either. Joe Biden fucking loves having someone to blame for not doing it because Joe doesn't want to do this shit fucking either. Joe signed more fracking shit and he was supposed to believe the science and he's just like, fuck the science. My son needs money for cocaine. And with inflation, cocaine is costs more than gas now. <laughs> I don't know how much it costs. I never have bought any. But, um, fucking A, man. I love Bernie. He's got to be third party. Otherwise, I don't know what the fuck he's even fucking around. You, you're not going to break up the Dems. You're not going to change the Dems from the inside. You just, you just got to be third party and fucking grow. And he has the name to do it, the platform to do it. He's fucking old as shit now. I wish his movement would have started about 10 to 15 years ago. And then maybe we wouldn't be in this mess, but fuck. We gotta get... If you're disgusted and don't want to vote, please vote for Green Party. They're like the Democrats, except they actually want to do the things they say instead of just saying them. And tweeting stuff like, someone should do something. They need votes. They're, voting for them isn't useless. It's not a waste. Got to get them up to 5% nationally so they can get matching funding. Although, once they do that, I'm sure the Democrats and Republicans will probably change the fucking rules to make it even harder. 
they don't want third. They don't want Green Party in there. They don't want any third party in there. They, but they especially don't want Green Party in there because they know Green Party will actually fucking do the stuff that Dems pretend they care about, like codifying Roe versus Wade, which the Dems could have done numerous times over the past thirty-five years, and then they didn't. Obama ran on it in 08. Gonna do it on day one. Didn't. And he did have a supermajority for 120 days during that first term. So don't even fucking say he didn't. He had 60 votes for 120 fucking days during his first term. And then after that, I think that was Al Franken getting kicked out or whatever. So it knocked him down to 59. Well, Dems have, what, 50 right now? Plus tie-breaking vote? They can't get it codified? You think Biden's going to codify it with 52? He's just saying get two more to offset Mansion and Cinema. Obama couldn't do it, didn't do it with 60 and couldn't do it with 59 because he didn't fucking care. They care now because they want you to get your fucking checkbooks out and vote for them. And don't be stupid enough. Green. Green party. Green. Just do it. Try it. Try it. One fucking time. Because switching p power back and forth every few years is what they're they're doing on purpose so they don't have to fucking do anything. They get to blame each other. And we got us fighting. And we shouldn't be fighting. Bye. Stop being a turkey. Stop voting for Thanksgiving. Vote for Christmas.